I, I think it was a really good uh, practice today. You know, I thought we had a lot of enthusiasm. We had to cut reps back a little bit because of our running back situation. I've really not been down this low. We actually had three guys that could go. We had to move some guys in positions uh, over to help a little bit. But uh, and by the end of the day, I think we got a lot of good work done, and I was pleased with the effort. And, uh, you know, it's just now, uh, you know, it's, it's about improving each and every, every day you're out here. But I think uh, you know, we did a lot of good things today. I, I, I've been doing this for 14 years, and I, and I had a release yesterday. And uh, I... Uh, I've I've never discussed disciplinary issues for 14 years. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I obviously, uh, you know, I'm I'm I have 120 I have 126 players, and I'm responsible for every one of them. Okay, and I take that responsibility, just like I have with my three with the three kids that I raised. And uh, obviously, uh, I'm, I'm disappointed, uh, frustrated. Uh, we run this program with integrity. Uh, we, we train our and, and teach our, our, our players to be accountable, responsible people. And when they make mistakes, uh, and they're going to make some mistakes, but when they're serious mistakes, uh, obviously that stings. And it stings me. It stings the players. Uh, it stings our fans. And my job is to uh, to get that fixed. So uh, that's what I intend to do. How's Matty Mock looking? He did good. He did good today, except for the last throw. He tried to make something that wasn't there, but for the most part, he's doing pretty good. Gary, with uh, with Matt obviously out the rest of the spring ball, you talk pretty highly of these young defensive linemen. Is this a chance over the next couple of weeks for them to, to show something? Yeah, I think that's what you do. You kind of, you know, you kind of. You, anytime you lose somebody, and in, in spring, you know, in spring you can survive it. You know, you can get the guys healthy, and, it's, and the good news is everybody's going to be healthy. But uh, it does provide underclassmen and, and guys that uh, less experienced opportunities to to show themselves. And I think for the most part, there's a lot of good things happening out there. And. And uh, I think we learned a couple of years ago when the most injuries we've ever had since I've been coaching that, you know, bottom line, you got to you got to get younger guys ready to play, and that's and then we can't moan about it, cry about it. We got to get that done. And we all witnessed that what that was like, and certainly, um, you know, that's something that uh, I think uh, that, that that the positive side of that is is young guys can get a lot of work. Is it the same kind of good news, bad news situation with the linebackers with Kintrell out? Yeah, it's the same thing all the way around. We just have the linebacker and the running back position at most. Now, I think we'll have Russell back for the scrimmage. I think Murph will be back for the scrimmage. Um, I think Morgan Stewart, as far as you, know, you talk about opportunity, you know, here's a young guy that, you know, has some pretty good players in front of him, you know. And you throw Henry and Josie there in front of him, and all of a sudden there's this, this, uh, this sophomore that, uh, you know, some of the plays he's made. And so I think that's a great example. Of you know he, he had more opportunities and what he's doing with that and that's that's certainly positive. What do you hope your team accomplishes this week? What are you really working on? What do you want to see at the end of this week from your young man? Well, we you know, what I talked to talked to the team after the scrimmage was you know and this is very just very true in in, in in college football. Most of the other sports have times that they can work with their athletes year round, and in college football we have 15 from the time we that bowl was over until until we, we can report in August we only have 15 practices that we actually can coach our players on the field, any coaching at all. So you talk about how critically important each and every practice is. And that's, and, and that, that's the, the message to our players is you, you just can't come out and say, well, I'm going to work hard and, and do pretty good today. You, 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 the, the message is, you know, we got to be 100% focused on what we're doing and understand that each and every rep that you take out there and, 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 do, and, and you try to consciously do your very, very best, you practice better. You practice better, you become a better player, you become a better football team.